All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple React component. Now, a component is the core building block that you use whenever you're making a web page using React. Now, usually your web page has a couple components on it, and you can actually make an entire site using nothing but components. But for this video, we're just going to keep things real simple. I'm going to show you guys how to create one simple one. And then once you know how to create one of them, then you know you can use them however you want. So we're going to be creating this React component. And after you create these components, you say, where do you want to put it on your web page? Now we really, <laughs> since this is our starting point, we really don't have a bunch of places to put it. So I'm just going to make a little div right here and just stick it in there. But usually, let's say that you want to make a notification component. Well, then you would say put it in the top menu bar. If you want to make a chat component, you would put it on, I don't know, maybe the right. So you're pretty much going to make a component and then tell your page where you want to put it. So that's the core concept behind it. So just so we have some place to put it first, I'm just going to make a div and I'll give the ID of like a content. So we just have some place to stick this thing whenever we make it. Again, this is nothing to do with React. This is just so I have somewhere to put our component. So let me adjust myself in my seat here. All right. So the components we make are going to be made in JavaScript. So we need a script tag. So we are actually allowed to type JavaScript somewhere. Now, instead of just getting started typing it right in here, we need to add one attribute to the script tag, and that's type equals text slash JSX. Now what this is saying is we're not just typing plain vanilla JavaScript, we're going to be using this JSX syntax. So it's a little bit different, our own little flavor of JavaScript. And whenever you see this, this attribute right here means convert it to regular JavaScript so our web page can understand it. And then we're going to be golden. So that's what we're going to be doing. Boom, let's go ahead and get started creating this component. So whenever we create a component in React, we need to make a new class. So our class is just going to specify what you want your component to do, what you want it to look like, basically all of the details of your component you stick inside its own class. And just so we can reference this class later on, I'm just going to give it a variable's name called Bucky's uh, component. So you can name it anything you want. I'm going to name it Bucky's component because why the heck not? All right, so this component needs to be in a class. How do you create a class? Just type react.createClass. Now inside here, make sure you put your semicolon at the end. So inside here is where we're going to be adding all of the functions, all of the attributes, whatever we want our component to do, and it's different for every component, that's what we're going to be typing. However, there is one rule that you always need to follow whenever you're making these little components. And that is you always need to have a render function. So what this render function is going to do is it's saying, okay, this is the HTML that I want to display. Since that's all your component is, just a fancy HTML blob that can, you know, do dynamic stuff, update in real time, whatever we decide. But it always is going to look for the render function and say, okay, Whenever I'm using this component, this is what gets displayed. So for right now, we're not going to give it any fancy functionality. We're just going to output some really boring HTML just so we can see the structure of a core component. But like I said, the only thing that this render function is going to do is it's going to return some HTML. And let me just make a heading or something. So put like my name is Bucky. All right. And sure my autocomplete doesn't mess up. So this is a core component. This is all it is. So whenever you make a component, one more time, just make a class. So a component is essentially just a React class and it has one rule. It needs to have a render function that returns some kind of HTML. And of course, later on, this is gonna be, you know, a little bit cooler than this, but for right now, that is how you create a component. So we got one created. How do we say, okay, we actually want to use this component. This is where we want to display it. Well, for that, use React Render. Now, this takes two parameters. The first one is, what component do you want to display? 
and where do you want to display it and right now it's pretty easy because we only have one component and we only have one place to display it so not that hard alright so the component is Bucky's component and the other attribute is where do you want to display it well we want to display it right here so JavaScript language we write documents get elements are you gonna pop up nope by ID there we go and the idea of this is content and boom look at that so let's run it and make sure it works and if I look at the source code check out what's going on so this was our empty div as we saw right here and we made a component and then we said take this component which is essentially just a heading and display it in that div so that's all it did and that's why our heading is now displaying inside this div so that's the core concept behind react we're pretty much going to be creating these components and i'll show you guys how to do some cool stuff to them in the upcoming tutorials and once they're created we're just going to say okay display them here or display them there and you know eventually we're going to have web pages that are you know a little bit better looking than one div on the screen but for right now hopefully you guys enjoyed I'll see you next video